Hi, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to make the review of this pen that was sent by this brand, that is Netuno 1911. So, uh, first let me right away thank you for uh, sending me this pen for review and let's open this and show it to you. However, if you want, you can see a detailed unboxing video that I already published. Now, this has this cardboard sleeve and inside we have a booklet with information about this brand, Netuno 1911 and then we have this box. This is a box with this uh, plexiglass or something like that um, cover, also the same kind of cover in the underside and here you have the figure of ne Neptune, the god of sea. And this is this god of sea that gave the name to the brand Netuno. So, just a little historical background. Netuno is a, an Italian brand that was founded in 1911 in Bologna. And it is called Netuno because there is a, a main square in Bologna that has a statue or a fountain with uh, the, a fountain with the statue of Neptune, uh, of Neptune. So this is the name of the brand because of that. This brand eventually uh, ran out of business um, and it was uh, revived in 2018 uh, by the Mayora Pen Company and the person that uh, give uh, the, the beginning of this brand, the, the, the rebirth of this brand, is Nino Marino. Nino Marino is, um, is one of the uh, co-founders of the now extinct uh, Delta company, a very well-known Italian brand also. So he's now working on this brand and he made this stunning pen. And this is what I have to say by now. So let's open this, these slides, and it has this foam interior, this hourglass shape, and we have the pen here. And the pen is really, really nice. But let's see it in detail. The pen, the model of the pen, is called this as, this, as the brand. Netuno 1911 and uh, this is the only model that the brand currently has and this model uh, is available not only in this finish but also in many other uh, colors and styles of resin. The overall aesthetics of this pen is made to remind us of a vintage pen because it has this flat top look and a very cylindrical shape. I think it has quite vintage look to it, even in this uh, retro style clip. But let's look at each part individually. First, the material in, on the outside. This is made of um, resin. Uh, they call it precious resin. This is made in Italy and it is made as a rod and then it is worked out um, to, into the shape of the pen. Um, the, also, it has some metallic accents that are coated with a black rhodium finish that makes these uh, blackish, not entirely black, but a, a dark grey finish that I think looks stunning. Now, let's see all the, the, the little details of the pen. And I'll try to focus closer to show you better. So we have here on the top of the cap two waves because Nep Neptune, Neptune is the king, uh, the god of seas, uh, there is the waves of the sea to represent that. Also, the clip has this vintage style. Let me try to put this on focus. Uh, it has this vintage, vintage, sorry, this vintage shape and also, it has a trident there, 
And the trident is the, the, the harpoon that is the weapon or the symbol of the god Neptune. You can see the, 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 the retro or vintage style. It has two cap bands on top, one cap band on the bottom of the cap, and then it has two large rings on the barrel. And these large rings have this construction and they look like, like arches. And this is because um, Bologna, which is the, the city where the brand was born, uh, has lots of arches. And uh, this is like a, a, a tribute to the, to the city of Bologna. Um, so the, the barrel is very cylindrical and it has this blind cap. On the barrel it is engraved the name of the brand and it is Netuno 1911 made in Italy. This is a matte finish. Uh, now it looks shiny because I have to show you a black pen. I think it was easy to leave the right side of the image without any light and the, and the left side of the image with a, a bright uh, light umbrella. So um, to have some contrast in here. Uh, so it, it, sh it looks more shiny than it actually is. It is like a matte uh, finish and a, a, a pretty uh, dark black. So it has, uh, as I showed you, Neto 1911 made in Italy. On the blind cap, there is also, like this, uh, this Italian tradition, the serial number of this particular pen. The bottom of the blind cap is completely flat and there is no other detail besides the serial number. Then the cap unscrews to reveal uh, underneath it two steps. The first one from the, the barrel body to the barrel thread here and it is not a big or even a sharp th step and then another one from the threads to the section. First, the, the threads are not sharp at all, so you can hold the pen here if you want on the, on the, on the threads, and the section has a slight um, hour shape, shape hour, hour glass shape, sorry, and it is very comfortable to hold, and it has a very nice diameter to hold the pen firmly and comfortably. The nib uh, is very uh, interesting, it is a nib that has um, two, it, it, first it is a steel nib, it is made by Bok, it has the N from Netuno, the 1911 and the F that is the, the, the grade of the nib, and it is made like a two-tone nib by the contrast between the shiny surfaces and the uh, matte surfaces on the nib, and it makes like a two-tone um, look to it and I really think it looks very classy. And also, on the rest of the pen, this contrast between shiny, as you can see here, shiny lines, shiny metal surfaces, and again, shiny, matte, shiny on the waves and matte on the background, also on the arches, makes this pen look very classy with these two kinds of finishes. And this is really, really a nice pen. About the writing experience or the, the way the pen is comfortable on the hand, the pen can be used and posted. It is a large pen and it is very well balanced. The, the rings on the barrel give it some extra weight, but because one is here and another one is there, it doesn't really uh, make it too heavy on the barrel. You can post the pen and write with it like this. It posts securely, but I don't really like to have it so long. About filling system, and I made a filling up video, so you can check it. You can fill this pen just by removing this blind cap and then to unscrew the, um, the piston of the, the converter. If it like if it was a, a, a piston filler pen, or you can use the, the barrel 
the take out the barrel and use the converter in a traditional way in a traditional way this is why the converter has this metal and that says Netuno Italy somewhere here um, to make the pen a little bit longer to the, the converter a little bit longer to protrude from the uh, from the end of the of the barrel and also the uh, converter is a screw in type converter which is nice because it screws into the section and it will not fall out or fall down into the um, bottle of ink so this is the overall of the pen very comfortable to use you can use it you can hold it wherever you want but i think the most comfortable way is half on the section half over the section threads and i will not post the pen because i don't like to post pens unless they are small pens now just to show you that this is not a small pen not a giant one also i will show it the i will show you the the size comparison so this is the usual comparison that i make uh, la mi safari this is the uh, all black version uh, special edition for two th from 2018 and here we have the Parker Centennial to fold the, the current version that is uh, on stores now that has this wider uh, band so if we compare the three pens we will see that the Netuno is just a, maybe two millimeters or uh, shorter than the Lamy Safari and maybe one millimeter shorter than the Parker du Centennial Dufold, which is quite nice. About the barrel uh, diameter, it is apparently the same as the Parker Dufold, which is quite nice because I think this is kind of the classic shape that I really like on a pen. And this pen has the same overall shape. And so I think it's perfect. The only thing that we can see, the biggest difference that we can see in the in the size ratio of these pens, if you like to, to, to take care of these of these kind of things, you can see that the clip on the Netuno is shorter, the cap is also shorter, the the default cap is a little bit longer, and the blind cap is longer on the Netuno and on the default it is shorter, but on the default it doesn't have any function because there is, it doesn't unscrew, there is nothing behind it. And then when you take the two caps off, you will see that the pens are really of the same size. Uh, however, the section on the fold is a little bigger, uh, as you can see here. The nibs, and it's nice to compare them. The nibs on the fold are of the same size also, Although this is, this looks more sharp, and this has uh, this is broader until the the end of the of the nib, um, and this one is uh, this is like a, a number six nib, and this uh, this is a, a gold nib, and that is that one is a steel nib. So they are uh, obviously uh, different nibs and different pens, but I believe they are quite comparable. So now. Let's take these pens off the way and do the writing sample. And so here we are for our writing test. So first of all, let me lean this a little bit to go around the tripod. This, the, the, the paper is our usual Rhodia dot pad. The ink is Parker. Quink Black and the pen, as you already know, is the Netuno 1911 Black Sand and as I think you probably can see, this pen writes really nice. So, one of the characteristics of this pen is that this nib has some feedback and you can hear it on camera and this is 
not a bad kind of feedback, it is actually pleasant. I would say it is a kind of feedback similar to the feedback on a Sailor Pen, which is very nice, but it makes some noise. The pen usually writes really well and doesn't skip unless I lift, as it happened there, the pen out of the paper. It, the, the, the feed really uh, delivers the uh, appropriate amount of ink to the, to the feed, to the nib, and the pen writes really well. About line variation, yes, you can have some if you press it quite hard. So I would not advise you to try a lot, but definitely you can have some. And because the, the feed is so good and the nib, the, the nib and feed relation, you can do this without failing, uh, uh, without railroading, that's what I meant. Uh, about reverse writing, you can try, but it is very dry and a little bit scratchy. So what I have to say overall about the nib, this is a very pleasant nib with some softness. It has like a, a vintage style, I think as the whole pen has, because the nib has some, is not an extra soft, uh, it doesn't glide over the paper like if it wasn't touching it, no. You feel the fibers of the paper, you feel you are writing, but with a very pleasant experience, in my opinion, and the nib delivers very well and the ink flow is great as you can see. So this is really a nice pen and I can't do anything else but recommend it because I'm really happy. So I have to thank Mr. Nino Marino for sending me this pen for review and I also have to thank you all for watching my videos and ask you once more if you like the video and you like the kind of videos that I make Please don't forget to subscribe. See you next video. Bye.